So what about the timeless fantasy of being picked out of a crowd, embodied by Bruce Springsteen and Courtney Cox with his Dancing in the Dark video? Is it just a fairy tale? What dreamy rocker would be awesome enough to woo and wed a fan? Well, he did, and he did, and he did. So you were a fan? Definitely. Think of the rock group Hanson, brothers Isaac, Taylor, and Zach Hanson, and the first word that comes to mind isn't really a word. Their 1997 single, Mmm Bop, was a number one smash around the world. Three homeschooled kids from Tulsa, aged 11, 14, and 16, playing instruments and writing songs, the way real bands do, back then and ever since. Recording, staying independent, and touring for a fan base that's remained loyal and vocal. Back in 2000, Hanson fan Natalie Bryant was a 16-year-old at Northgate High School in Noonan, Georgia, when fellow cheerleader Kate Tucker, also 16, asked Natalie to accompany her to a Hanson concert. One of our crew guys had met Kate and invited her to come back after the show. I remember it being fun and exciting to meet these these guys that I really admired. Well, I was tagging right along. I wanted to get in on that. <laughs> Natalie gravitated to 17-year-old Taylor Hanson, the band's lead singer. I had immediately thought, you know, well, I'm attracted to this girl. She's so cute. The two of us just started talking right away, and we always joked that it, that was the conversation that's never ended. As luck would have it, Kate and 15-year-old Zach were also hitting it off. And she wasn't, you know, there to go backstage and be a groupie and all that kind of stuff that people expect. And, and that was immediately appealing to me. What did you come away from that night thinking? This guy's probably never going to call me back, but that was a lot of fun. <laughs> what did your mother think when you told her, I met this guy in a rock band and we really liked each other? I think there was a little hesitancy from everyone in the family. For week after week on the phone, they shared their love of music and details of their lives. I think very quickly, I felt like I was you know, falling in love with somebody. Unusual behavior, perhaps, for a teenage rock star. Every guy loves the attention of, you know, a lot, of, a lot of girls, but the idea of the next pretty face in one city and another city, it just gets boring. Yeah, looks pretty boring, doesn't it? Once it was Van Halen and Motley Crue. Now it's Drake, Chris Brown, and Usher. Life on the road or at the club, hip deep in female adoration, is the stuff of music legend. It's just not for these guys. People are throwing themselves at you, and I think the perception is that that, that would be so cool. But what, what quickly happens is you just, you're just like, dear Lord, if someone would just stop throwing themselves at me. Do you get jealous sometimes? Not really. I feel like what is between the two of us is sort of ours, and I, I don't feel like anyone else can sort of come between that. By June 2002, Taylor and Natalie were husband and wife. Meanwhile, remember Kate and Zach? They kept in touch, and long after their first meeting, they started to get serious. They married in June of 2006, by which time big brother Isaac had found a Hanson fan of his own to love. Not after a show, but during it. We were in New Orleans. I'm scanning the crowd, singing, and I'm like, wow, that girl is gorgeous. After that moment, I couldn't stop looking at her. She smiles back at me. I had to start looking away because I was so excited that she looked back at me. But you had a feeling. You could yeah, tell. Yeah, I, I had a feeling, but I, it was kind of like, oh, this is, this is what happens in movies. I remember thinking, she has the kindest, most unassuming smile. And so I'm going, I got to make sure that I keep her attention uh, because I don't want her to go anywhere. Fan and performer love at first sight? It turned out to be just that. It led to a September 30th, 2006 wedding. Isaac secretly wrote and recorded a new song for their first dance. It was really sweet. It was really romantic. Yeah. And basically the tagline of the song is, and my love you will be every day. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to get choked up now. <laughs> Isaac and It was a good day. 
You don't get a man like him every day. <laughs> or an extended family like this one, on the road with all of their adorable children. Now 31, Isaac has two kids with Nikki. 26-year-old Zach and Kate have two of their own. And at 28, Taylor and Natalie have four children. And these three couples and their kids just keep on rocking. I don't think that you should have to choose marriage or rock and roll. I think you should be able to have both.